You've probably heard a story about Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Maybe you know the one about her gun-themed restaurant in a town literally called Rifle, Colorado. Or the one about her vaping and groping a date and getting herself kicked out of a fancy theater in downtown Denver. (laughs) That one was wild. Or maybe you've heard the one about where she really was on January 6th. Or how she doesn't stand a chance in her new district out on the eastern plains of Colorado. But just when you think you understand her, there's another crazy story. And I was like, okay, so an elected representative is coming across as really unprofessional right now, like just thirsty. Uh, Because of Bober and her actions against me, I'm on fucking food stamps. Somewhere between the headlines and the downright salacious and often sexist rumors, there's a real person. And whether you believe in her or despise her, it's hard not to watch her meteoric rise and wonder, what does it mean for the future of American politics? Lauren, you're going to do fantastically in your district. Lauren Boebert, thank you. I'm Paul Caroli. I'm Bree Davies. And we've covered Lauren Opal Boebert's antics on our daily news show, CityCast Denver, for years. And with only a month until her make or break primary, we're diving deeper than anyone has before with a new limited podcast series. We're going on a journey back through her whole life here in Colorado to separate fact from fiction, lies from libel, misinformation from actual malice. To figure out if she's flaming out or if her Trump-style antics are going to take her all the way to the White House. We're talking to former friends and rivals, supporters and detractors, real people throughout the state who have been affected by her work in Congress, and hopefully Lauren herself. Because you have to admit, for some reason, it feels like Lauren Boebert can't lose. And we're going to find out why. Lauren Boebert Can't Lose, presented by CityCast Denver. Episode one is set to drop in the feed May 15th. 